Hello, God saints, and welcome to today's Bible moment with Pastor Fred. Today's Bible moment is a message on salvation, a message on salvation. God loves you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We want to talk about a message of salvation, and that message is to where Romans 6 and 23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. We do not get to heaven in our own efforts because we try to outweigh our good days, outweigh our bad days. We don't try to get to heaven just by joining a church or doing religious things or doing good deeds or trying to behave. The truth of the matter is we can't behave. Sin is in us. It has been with us from the time we were born. We were born in sin. And we must recognize that we have sinned against God. We cannot keep his laws. We cannot obey him. And sometimes, nor do we even want to. That's the truth of the matter of sin. When we're honest with ourselves, when we look at ourselves in a minute, you, you know we're not right. You know you're not right. You know, even though you may not say the things, you think them. You, you've cut somebody out in your head. You've committed murder in your head, adultery, and you, you, you've done it. Even if you thought it, it is already done. So it's impossible for us to say, I have not sinned. There's nothing wrong with me. We've all done things that were displeasing to God, and we deserve punishment. And since our sins are ultimately against an eternal God, only an eternal punishment is sufficient. But the Bible gives us the good news of the message of salvation, that Jesus, who was the sinless sacrifice, the eternal son of God, became a man. He took on the penalty of our sins. And it says it like this in Romans 5 and 8. God demonstrates his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He died on the cross, taking the punishment that we deserve. Three days later, he rose from the dead, proving his victory victory over sin and death. First Peter 1 and 3 says, in his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So the message of salvation is by faith, we must change our mindset of who Christ is, what he did, and why. That's the essence of salvation. And once we understand who he is, what he did, and why, we must put our faith in him, trusting in his death on the cross for our sins so that we may be forgiven and receive the promise of eternal life in heaven. And it's just as simple as if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That is Romans chapter 10, verse nine. Faith and faith alone in the finished work of what Christ did on the cross is the only true path to eternal life. Uh, Ephesians 2, eight and nine says, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by work so that no one can boast. The message of salvation is you don't have to, you can't save yourself and you don't have to. God saves you. God has saved you. 
Just accept his gift of salvation through Jesus Christ. Believe on his son. Take his righteousness upon you. Call of him. Call his name right now, wherever you are. It says, Jesus, save me. I believe in what you have done. And I'm going to stand by faith on the work that you have accomplished. God bless you. God smile upon you. Happy Sunday.